to, to be sure that every meeting is focused, we must call a meeting by the name of the outcome that we want from that meeting. So we don't say that we want to have a gemstone network meeting. What do you mean network meeting? What does network meeting mean? It has no meaning. You have to call the meeting by the name of what you hope will come out of that meeting. So that's the first thing I want you to note. Number two, you must give a specific time and place for every meeting that will happen recurrently. Every meeting that you have to happen again and again and again must have a specific time and place. It must command its own time. Number three, anybody who will have no real input into that meeting or have no real work to take out of that meeting should not be in that meeting. So stop having meetings that has everybody in it. And most of the time when people come in, three quarters of the time, the people are sitting down listening to somebody else have conversations about something that they have no input in and they have no output to take with them to go and do some work. So to be able to make your, fo your meetings focus, make sure that every meeting has a name. The name is the intended outcome of that meeting. It has a time and it has a place. More importantly, it must be clear that everybody who will attend that meeting has something to offer to that meeting and has something to take away from that meeting, right? The fourth thing that you must do is to ensure that you have specific questions that you always ask in every meeting that will help you to take decisions and come up with actions that will deliver the desired outcome of that meeting. So if we have a network growth meeting, then everybody that will have to do with the growth of the network is the people that will be in the meeting. But we must have questions that are already in place. We are not going to get there and say, so guys, what do we want to talk about today? No, we must know the questions ahead of time. That's not all. You must have circulated the questions to everybody who is coming into the meeting. Next, number five, you need a focus monitor. Simi, we have to do this, right? We'll be rounding up soon, yes. Okay, we need a focus monitor. A focus monitor is somebody we must empower in every meeting to raise a flag, silent flag, every time the conversations we are having in the meeting is not in line with the answer to the question that was asked. We are going to empower that person and make sure that that person feels safe and secure enough to, and it must not be the boss. It must not be the leader of the meeting. You must empower somebody and it must not be the same person all the time. So that nobody feels like they have now got in a position where if somebody's talking, they can raise the flag and say, keep quiet, my friend. So it, you must rotate it. But every meeting must have a focus keeper a focus monitor, every meeting. And at the outcome of every meeting, you must have specific to-dos, specific things that each and every one will do. Whenever you have this, your meetings will be extremely focused because they had an intention. The intention was mentioned in the name of the meeting because they had a time that people knew the meeting was going to happen so they could plan around it. It had a place where they knew they were going to so there was nothing to wonder. It had only the people who had something to add to the meeting and take away from the meeting. And then it had questions that they had prepared answers to. And then it had specific actions that they would take things away from. That's how to make your meetings effective. So, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of other things that I will share with you by, as I then close is that apparently we found out 
and this is what management science has found out, that people who want to procrastinate distract themselves with other activities that will take their attention away from what they're hoping to procrastinate on. So procrastinators apparently don't know when they're procrastinating because they are busy with something else other than what they should have been focusing on. So, and, and they didn't realize that, that it was procrastination. They always define procrastination only as when I do nothing, when I know I'm supposed to be doing something. But do you know that when you do something else, apart from what you are supposed to be doing, you are actually procrastinating? That is powerful. <laughs> that is so powerful. Everything else you're doing, apart from what you're supposed to be doing, is a, is a form of procrastination. So in other words, you are, in a sense, you are active, but you're not productive. Medium.com said distractions cost the United States economy $650 billion last year. I don't know how they measured it, guys. But I just want you to understand that the capacity to be able to zone your attention on the most important things to you, on the most important pathway to the most important things, the ability to be able to understand what is required so that you can focus those things Remember, your thoughts, your time, your treasure, your talent, your team, and your treasure, to be able to focus those things. So now I'm going to be asking a very important question. Did you accomplish your most important goal in 2021? Yes or no? Or I don't know? I just want you to be honest, write it down. Yes, no, I don't know. Guys, do you understand why we needed to go through today now? Just to let you know, I'm, I also didn't accomplish my most important goals. Guess what? Guess what? My most important goal in 2021 was to start the Gemstone Leadership Network. Can anybody guess what it was that distracted me the most from starting it? It was all the other things we were doing to make money. <laughs> because this one, we were not going to charge for it. And I just couldn't understand why I would spend all my life doing something I would not charge for. As in, I just, I just, so everything I could, because we were charging for Speak for Gold, right? But I had already told Simi, by 20, by, by February, 2021, right? I told Simi that if the, if, if the end of the world came in the year 2021, what I had to be doing, that I, what I knew I had to have done to be able to give God my account was Gemstone Leadership Network. I knew that was my calling. And even though I knew that was my calling, guys, we still beat around the bush because the challenge was we were not going to charge for my calling and it was going to take up much of my attention, much of my time. It will change the world, but I couldn't see where the money was. And even though I wasn't doing Speak for Gold for money, but the fact that Speak for Gold was paying and it was, it was doing what it was doing and there were other things, we were making the coaching sessions, the Speak for Gold, da 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 you know what, don't rock that boat. So we kept on pushing until this year, I realized if I don't do this thing, I'm going to die. I must do this. This is the reason why I was born. My question is, what needs to happen this year for you to do exactly what you were created to do? Many of you have an idea why you, you were born, many of you. What is the thing that, that has to happen this year that will become your legacy project, the thing that you are going to give to the next generation, the thing you are going to submit to God if he were to come at the end of this year? God forbid, if anything happened to you, what is the thing that you should be met doing? 
And, and what is the desired outcome? What is the desired outcome? I have never been as fulfilled in my life as I am right now. Nothing has fulfilled me like this. Nothing, ever. Nothing. When God told me you must stop Speak for Gold, it wasn't because Speak for Gold was doing badly. It was because Speak for Gold was getting in my way. I didn't know it then, but I know it tonight. It was making a great impact, but it was getting in the way of a greater impact. Did anybody get that? Nothing is as potent an enemy to a great idea like a good idea. In fact, sometimes another great idea is the greatest enemy that a great idea can have. And what I have come to call you to is a solemn, and this is a very solemn moment, guys. This is a very solemn moment. I know that I wanted you to have, have a great time, but I also promised you, I said your life was going to change if you came today. 